this video, I'm gonna show you how you can reduce the amount of RAM your instruments are using with Contact and also East West Opus. Let's get stuck in. To start with, we'll take a look at Contact 7. I'll show you how you can purge individual instruments, multiple instruments, and multiple instances of Contact. To purge an individual instrument, click the drop down arrow next to Purge. From here, you can see we have four options, three of which we'll be focusing on for this video. This first one is called Update Sample Pool. When you choose this, any notes that were not previously triggered by MIDI or your face smashing the keyboard will be completely unloaded from RAM, saving you memory. These will be dynamically loaded as MIDI notes are triggered or as you play. This next one is called Purge All Samples. When you select this, it will completely unload samples from RAM for an instrument. Again, only loading as notes are triggered. The last one is pretty self-explanatory. You select it and it will reload all the samples for the instrument. Now, if you have multiple instruments loaded inside your instance of contact and want to purge them all in one go, all you need to do is head over to file and then go to purge this instance and choose what you want to do. If you're working with multiple instances of contact throughout your project with loads of different patches and you want to purge them all globally, head to file, then purge all instances. For those of you that use NVMEs or SSDs to store your samples on, there's another way you can further reduce the amount of RAM being used. Head to file, then options, then click on the memory tab. Make sure you turn on the preload buffer and then by default, you'll find it's around 60 kilobytes. By lowering this value, you can decrease the amount of RAM that's being used because the samples are being streamed more directly from the disk instead of being loaded into RAM. However, depending on your drive speeds, lowering this value too much can give you some playback issues. So try and find a sweet spot. If you're unsure, just turn it off and leave it at its default settings. Next, let's take a look at the East West Opus engine. Like Contact, we can reduce the amount of RAM patches are using by unloading unused samples from notes that are not being triggered by MIDI. To do this, well, there's a few different ways. The first way is by coming to the instrument and where it says Purge, clicking on the little red light here. This will completely unload all of the samples from RAM and it will dynamically load those samples back in when MIDI triggers notes for the instrument or when you press some keys on your keyboard. If we want to reload the samples, we can click on the green light like so, and it will load them all back in. However, there's a bit of a quicker way to do this. If you come up next to where it says close all, you will see these three vertical dots. Click on this and you'll get some additional options. This very first one, called Purge All Instruments, will allow us to unload all of the instruments in this instance of Opus. Again, dynamically loading them when MIDI triggers those samples or if I hit my keys. Now, if we want to reload all of these instruments, we can come back to that same menu and just choose Reload All Instruments. However, during making this video, for some reason, this is a little bit buggy for me and doesn't quite do what it says on the tim. Now, if you want to purge multiple instances of Opus with all of their instruments to really reduce the amount of RAM your project's using, then you need to go back to those three dots, click, and then go to purge all Opus instances. And this will unload all of the active instruments for the entire project. For this next one, we're going to be adjusting the preload buffer like we did with Contact. However, in Opus, it's predefined for you. Simply click on the cog icon, then go to preferences. The first one we need to change is underneath audio engine in the streaming section. Next, we need to choose what type of hard drive our samples are being streamed from. So if you're using a mechanical hard drive, use mechanical. If you're using an SSD SATA, choose SSD SATA. For me, all of my samples for East West are on an NVMe drive, so I'm using SSD PCIe. This will adjust the preload buffer so it streams samples more from the disk. The next thing we can check is this never preload. Essentially, every time you load an instrument up into the rack, it won't preload the samples into RAM and it will just dynamically load them as you're playing. If you're using multiple hard drives to split the libraries across and you want to adjust the preload buffer for each, head to the audio drives tab and for each hard drive, choose the correct setting to optimize your drives. And that's pretty much it. 